After a long overhaul, F-13 Peveril is ready for action. Society member Ian Fisher puts the final touches on one of Peveril's drivers. After picking up the train of 1920s Scarrett cars, F-13 showcases a spectacular display of total steam. After a quick brake test, F-13 makes her inaugural notch-up. F-13 was lovingly restored by members of the Canterbury Railway Society located in the peaceful Hefkit Valley. Before the completion of F-13, a Dubs A-class locomotive from the Plains Railway was leased for use at Berrymead. Berrymead's workhorse W192 now sits lonely in her shed awaiting an eventual overhaul. So the return of F-13 Peveril was a highly anticipated event for the society. At Ferrymead, Peveril runs around its train, ready for its run back down to Morehouse.
Michael couples up the train and links the hoses which provide air for the Westinghouse brakes. With the guard aboard, Peveril trundles off. An iron horse is a very coal hungry machine. Members fill the bunker with West Coast coal before departing once again. of the day, F-13 puts away its coaches and heads to the steam shed for the first time. After a long day for a little loco, F-13 is finally tucked away in its new bed. A-64 is shunted into the workshops, awaiting transport back to Ashburton. Junior member Lachlan Brady applies the handbrake on the dubs, putting his presentation to an end.